In this video, we will be going over how to apply frequency domain filtering on two-dimensional inputs. Now, two-dimensional inputs can be represented as matrices or as images. In order to get started, we have a couple of libraries that we need to import. Uh, this time, we will be using CV2, NumPy, and Matplotlib. We do not need sideplot as we will not be using wave functions or audio inputs, but we will be using the uh, CV2 library to load in images, so the OpenCV library. But we will only be using it for loading in images and not actually displaying them. First, let's make sure that we have our image read in using cv2.mbread and the image and let's add the zero there as a extra input to make sure that the image is grayscale and we can use matplotlib to display the image this will be relevant later as our scaling might go over the normal scaling that opencv uh, image show might display Now, in order to start going into filtering and frequency domain for images, we first need to convert our image into frequency domain. To do this, we can use the 2D Fast Fourier transform that is in the NumPy library. So that is mp.fft.fft2, and the input is just the image. Once we have converted the image, we also have to shift the frequency as the center of the image will be the high frequency area and the low frequency will be edges. But in order to do, apply uh, filtering, it is easier if it is the vice versa and that we have the low frequency domain in the center of the image. So for that, we have the numpy.fft.fft shift function. In order to bring the image back from frequency domain, we first have to shift it back using numpy.fft.i fft shift and then just use numpy.fft. I F F T two, so that is the inverse shift and then the inverse fast Fourier transform in two dimensions, and we can display both the input image and the output image to make sure nothing has changed. Additionally, we have to make sure that the uh, image that we display is in non-complex form. As the output for fast Fourier transform is a complex type matrix. So the simplest way to do that is to convert the data type into uint8.